Well, 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 what a day this has been. Some wild swings, the market all over the place, liquidations, flash crashes, and recoveries. I know people had questions earlier today. I obviously made that video earlier this morning discussing buying ADA. And yes, I did buy more ADA. And we experienced a little bit of a flash crash today. BTC fell down to the mid 41K range. ADA actually corrected all the way down to like 58 cents, 56 cents, somewhere in there. And did I panic at all? No, no, not at all. And guess what? Corrections are in the game. Pullbacks are in the game. I'm not surprised by anything at this point. And this kind of comes back to this point. I am not going to play the game of waiting for pullbacks to like these to happen. And here's the specific reason why. Look at this correction that we saw. We pulled back down again to that 50, 58, 57 cent range. And what have we done since then? We've showed this strength that we discussed earlier today. And we've climbed up actually essentially to the point where I bought earlier today. I think I bought just below 61 cents in case anyone was curious. So I'm basically at a break even for the day. There are too many people that are focused on the short term movements here. If we correct, we correct. If we move up, we move up. What you should be focused on is long term. Unless you're a day trader and you're profiting off of quick swings, then who really cares if you go through a 2% retracement? Who cares if you go through a 2% climb in the day, right? These movements are part of the game. It's never a straight line up. It's never a straight line down. There's going to be volatility. And right now we're in volatile, volatile times. We're awaiting some of the biggest news the crypto market will ever experience. The absolute opening the door of institutional money, all right? Allowing trillions of dollars of capital to flow into the space. And this is that's really the specific reason why I'm buying now. Again, I could wait for corrections. I could wait to see what happens in January. But the thing is, is if like, let's say we hit January one and you're waiting for a pullback and we get massive news and whales start buying and institutional money begins flowing in. I think it's going to be a little more delayed than that because these uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs actually have to roll out and get launched and it's going to be a process to get to these. But hopefully people see the point. There will be so much. FOMO and interest in crypto at that point that there may not be looking back at these prices. The reason I don't care about a two, three, four, five percent pullback, even 10 or 20 percent pullback is because in the long term, it won't matter because I have a position. I've solidified my position. I've added to what I had. I saw somebody say, oh, I can't believe you're waiting for a 50 cent uh, pullback to 50 cents. You should have bought in the 20s. I did buy in the 20s. You guys remember I specifically talked about the range that I was buying heavily in down in this 24 to 26 cent range. That was a major opportunity. And the great thing is, is we're getting more opportunity up here, more consolidation, more kind of a, a taking of a deep breath in this 60 cent range. Again, if people want to wait for further, further pullbacks, that's fine. All right. For the most part, I dollar cost average. I do buy every now and then when we get bigger, deeper dips, I accumulate in, in larger quantities at that point. And ADA is not the only thing I'm accumulating right now. I am ac accumulating within the Cardano ecosystem. I'm accumulating the other coins in the market and essentially just prepping my overall position across the space for this bull market uh, that is coming. All right. So I thought it was, I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> there are some people that were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you bought earlier today. Well, this is specific. This is the exact reason why, because we're right back where we were. So appreciate you guys. Hopefully we show some better momentum to close out the year. Would again, not be surprised with consolidation with BTC in that 40 to 42 K range. I've said this a bunch. I would like to be there because they could show us some more strength as we begin 2024, but we'll see what happens. So I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your night and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.